Hi my angels, it's Haley Reese and Lana Zielinski. And today we are bringing you guys probably one of the coolest videos we've done to date so far in my opinion. And I feel like you guys are gonna think so too because you wanna tell them where we are right now? We are in a magical forest mm -hmm. looking for fairies. Yes. This is one of my favorite places to come because there's so much fairy energy and fairy activity in this forest. And I personally, Haley, have seen fairies and fairy energy and evidence on fairies. So where we walked a good kilometer in, yep. we are quite a ways back in the forest. Yes. And <laughs> We are going to go exploring. Yes, so Lana had told me about a space that she came across where she just felt the elemental energy so strong and actually felt the energy of fairies, saw a couple of fairy homes, maybe even a portal. And so we thought, how cool would it be to bring the camera, bring you guys here because we both get so many requests on fairies. So this should be a lot of fun. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. But with that said, shall we just explore? Let's go exploring and I can't wait to show you what I know about this forest. So in order to connect with fairies, there's a few things that you kind of have to be aware of. Number one, do you believe in the fairy dimension? Do you believe that fairies live in the forest? Finding fairies in a forest takes that childlike heart that we all have. We just don't always access it. So if you connect to that heart space, that inner child space where magic and believing in things is, and you open that up, you're able to see great things. And one thing about fairies is they're not just out on the path, they're hidden. And there's a few reasons why fairy magic is hidden and I will talk about that later on in the video but if you take a look I'm going to show you what I mean by hiding there is a tree over there with it where its stump grows out and you can see and feel the magic through an opening let's get a little closer Haley so here is a magical place and I can feel the energy I'm hoping you're able to feel this through the video wise old tree with an entrance moss covering well hidden in a forest and to connect with fairies one of the things that you have to be very cautious of in the forest is to really respect the space so when Haley and I were walking through we were very careful not to yeah. crush any greenery we were just very careful and respectful and here is where I feel the portal this is the like the entrance way the doorway of where fairies come in and come out and it's even just touching it even just feeling the energy of the magic that lives in this tree is absolutely incredible it looks magical to me it looks like something out of a storybook right and again Haley we're several steps off that beaten path kind of tucked in and you know how I found this fairy portal how was in the winter and it was very it felt very different to me out here Haley, in mm -hmm. the winter. I hiked back here quite often and when I seen it and got a little closer the energy wasn't as strong and right. I didn't feel them quite as strong and when I came back in the spring it was like ooh, the, yeah. ma the, the magic of, 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 the, of their presence was just so profound um, now they are around in the winter it's, it just ha it just felt very d different to me it had a very different fairy energy maybe there was less of them here but this is definitely a fairy home definitely an entrance into that spirit dimension where fairies come and go so you feel fairies here right now oh 100 percent. i get quite excited i'm trying yeah. to like keep my animation in check <laughs> because i just get so excited at the at the energy behind fairy homes and that portal in and out of the fairy dimensions. So they're very aware of our presence right now. 100%. And how, what's the energy with them as far as our energy goes? I've come with great energy. Mm -hmm. I've also come with a few little things and tips that I'm gonna sh show and share um, on how to prepare and let them know that you're here. So a little bit of history, a little bit of fairy 101. Fairies date all the way back to like ancient Greek times. And they're also found in folklore, English and Scottish folklore stories talk a lot about fairies. Now fairies are very much real. And in one time in history, they were very much wide in the open. But what happened to fairies? Why did they disappear? Why are they only seen by some and don't show themselves? Well, 
humans as we grew and as we started to develop roads and develop houses and develop colonies of, of humans, fairies got pushed out and they got pushed underground, which is why fairies houses are quite often, it looks like they're underground. So this tree, it looks like it goes into the earth and it does because they were pushed underground. And the more that trees got cut down and the more of, of the forest homes that got lost, the fairies and the elementals decided that they were safer in the spirit dimensions. So the fairies actually have their own dimension within the spirit worlds. So it's not to interrupt you, a question that I have then is, you know, when I was a kid, I played with the fairies, saw the fairies, as did the future generations in my home. And I read a lot of comments from them saying, they, when they were kids, they saw the fairies. Are fairies more comfortable with the children? Absolutely. That is a fantastic question. Fairies are very safe around children. And when you think about children's energy, they're very pure and yeah. innocent. And they usually don't have any intention of harm. And the other thing, Haley, think about the magic of little kids. They believe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with anything in the spirit dimensions, the more you believe and connect, the more magic you're going to see. And I've talked about that a few times on my channel about if you believe in spirit, you'll see spirit signs. If you believe in, in fairies and learn how to connect to that magic and, and develop the, a relationship with that dimension, it's incredible the, the experiences and the magic that you will have. Do the fairies from this particular space have anything that they would want to say? The fairies in this particular forest are very um, content with how the forest is looked after. They've shared with me a few times how the people that hike here are very respectful. They also have chosen this particular spot because I asked them why here and it's the pond. The pond is really important because fairies also love water. They love to see their reflection in the water. They love to play in the water. They're, they're very connected to all things earthy and foresty. So they have an incredible peaceful existence here. Fairies love peace. They love magic. They don't like chaos and anger. They don't, they, they stray away from all of that vibration, which is why not every single forest or every single trail may not have any fairy activity. It depends on the humans and the interactions that we have with the earth as far as how much fairy activity is around. It is so cool. Isn't it great? I, I just, I love the energy here. And they do, they do chitter chatter with me quite a bit. Like right now, I've, I've, I'm just hearing how excited they are that I'm here and, and that I'm sharing. And they're also asking me, to, and this is really cute. They're asking me to bring more little kids with me next time. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and, and that's an idea. Maybe I'll bring a couple little kids out here from my youth group and come out and play in the fairy forest. That would be incredible. Mm -hmm. So right here, we are at another magical spot. I call this the fairy condo because <laughs> it does look like a condo, but I feel that it's um, an entrance or a portal for many fairies. I, I really feel that many come and go from here and it does have a very unique shape with the magic of the mushrooms going up. Fairies love anything shiny. So if you want to try and connect with a fairy, I've brought out some clear quartz. I've left some rose quartz. Mirrors are a great thing uh, for fairies. Even a piece of pyrite. They love anything shiny. Um, and are, they're very much attracted to the clear quartz as well. The other thing that um, fairies really like are flowers or the scents of flowers. So I have brought some flowers, but I've also put a couple of drops of lavender oil and rose oil just around the entrance as an offering, as, as just to say, hey, I brought you something that you like, a little bit of a gift. Um, one thing with the forest though, is remember, fairies are forest protectors. So whatever you bring into the forest, it's gotta be safe for all animals. A lot of people say, oh, fairies like candy and fairies like uh, gum and they like all these things. Yeah, perhaps that they do, but they lean more on what's safe for a deer that might come by. So I wouldn't leave my crystals in the forest or leave the mirror in the forest, but while I'm here trying to connect, I will sit with the energy of the crystals, sit with the energy of the fairies, 
and feel and listen. And sometimes you just feel or know that they're here and sometimes you get to see a little glimmer of magic. I also bring some food. So today I brought some honey and I brought some grapes to leave. Um, so I am gonna put those out and uh, see what we can feel and just kind of sit here for a moment and connect to the energy. So we got some grapes and some seeds. And I'm gonna put the crystals back down. And then let's just see what we feel, Haley. Yeah. I have to say this one just has such a magical feeling to me as well with the way that the mushrooms are going up it. It almost feels like a castle at the top. It's amazing. What are you feeling? I feel like you're feeling something. <laughs> you know me well, Miss Haley. You know me really well. Um, Interestingly enough, I'm tapping into a lot. They're talking to me about a lot of change um, at this end of the forest. And I'm just trying to understand what they're trying to tell me. And I'm just kind of looking around to see what kind of change. And I, and I think I, the longer I kind of sit here or stand here and look around, I see a lot of change to the structure of the forest from that last storm. Uh... And then, so they're trying to communicate with me that there has been some, some changes since I was last here. I'm also um, hearing from them, Haley, this is kind of fascinating, that new fairies are coming to this forest. Really? New fairies. And one thing with fairies is they all look very differently, just like us, us, us human people. Some of them have wings and some of them do not. And they're telling me that a new generation of fairies that are coming Many, or if not most of them, are going to be winged fairies. Oh, I love that. Winged fairies. And the, the current generation that's hanging out in this area, maybe not generation of fairies, but maybe cluster of fairies, um, are not winged. And that's news to me. Of all the times that I've been out here, I haven't heard them talk about not having wings, that the majority of them don't have wings in this portal location that's fascinating. fascinating it is absolutely fascinating what do they think right now of your offerings they're very grateful um they're not quite sure why i brought the mirror i don't usually bring mirrors um, but fairies are attracted to their reflection that is that is something about fairies um, but they have picked up on the fact that I don't usually bring them here. <laughs> They're <laughs> like, this is new. This is new. Usually for me and, and, and however you connect, like, and, you know, if, if you want to just bring, you know, offerings of food, then that's okay too. But they usually are quite attracted to the shiny things that have reflections. Some people will bring water from a pond or from a river, um, as an offering as well, or just flowers from, from around the forest. Um, and what's really interesting too, Haley, is they really are talking about you. What? <laughs> <laughs> they're, what they're, they're, they're talking about Miss Haley and how her energy is so high and infectious. Aww. And uh, they find that absolutely delicious. Oh my God, that's so cute. Isn't that cute? That is so sweet. Oh, You do have fairy-like energy, Haley. Thank you. My grandma thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> The magic of a fairy condo or a fairy castle um, is just absolutely incredible here in this in this space. It truly is. So I do hope that you enjoyed your time here with me in the little magical fairy forest, checking out some fairy homes and portals, the entranceway into the fairy dimension. And I hope you learned a little bit about offerings and how to connect a little bit and tap in and try and feel the fairy energy for yourselves. I'm really curious as to what you think of fairy energy. Have you had any experience seeing or connecting to fairy energy yourselves? Leave me a comment and there's more coming on the fairy dimensions.